All right, hello and welcome. So I'm trying to figure out what we got going on with all these round balls in this right here. That's totally separate from this biology right here. This is not geological. They'd consider this here intrusive basalt. This here to be a sedimentary deposit. The only problem with this being a sedimentary deposit is all these round balls are in it. How did all these round balls form just out of sediment? Because there's been no heat, no pressure. They're just loaded in here. And they're built, the outer of them is built almost like an onion. It's got layers, and I'll show you what I mean. And I brought some of this home right there. Right here is where I snapped some of it off, and I brought it home. And we're going to be taking a look at it today under a microscope. Now I'll take a piece of that home. Okay. Now you'll notice what it's made out of. And I'll have to wet it because it's really dried out. But why, why would it form like this in layers? Why? Why would these round balls, the center's more solid, a nucleus solid center here, but it's all made of the same material, but then all these layers, and all these balls have these layers on the outside edge. And I've been looking at cells, electron scanning images of cells, and I think I might have found something, as long as it's not the interstitial area around the cell which is the fluid filled space and I don't think it is so I'm going to be looking at some of this under a microscope and also under a, uh, a magnification uh, piece of glass I got here a magnifier and we're going to be looking at this material that it's made out of and they would just call it sediment or rocks fine grain whatever it might be but it's all the same it's all the same material it's all the same as the chunk I brought, uh, bought, uh, brought home it's all the same material okay you see that even the hard center of them are made out of the same material there's nothing different in the whole thing there's no sticks there's no you know decayed debris of any kind it's all made out of this and we're gonna look at a piece of it that I broke off okay we'll look at that here in just a minute and I'll look underneath the magnification like I said also so we'll get a good idea of what it is hopefully and they're all in layers like that some of them are you know not as pronounced as the one I just showed you but they all have some kind of layering to them with a solid center which I believe is a nucleus area so let me show you something now that I've discovered I want to show you another spot not with the same area I was just at, but see it's all made out of the same material that I just broke off. All of it's this stuff. All of it. With the little black chunks in it. These little black chunks, I find those inland too. See those black chunks? They're all over embedded in it. So I'm not sure what's going on with that, but it's all the same material. And it's not some kind of sediment. I mean, they would think it was geology because they think it's little pebbles and rocks and no, they just walk by this. They don't understand what's going on. Trust me. Nobody's noticing this. I walked by it probably ten times before I noticed what's going on here. I was looking at electron scan images of cells. Different cells. And uh, let me try to find one right here. You see this? That's the nucleus. And you see the layering on the outside edges of that cell? Now as long as... I don't believe that's the fluid... Build, or fluid filled spaces between the cells which is called interstitial which is different than interstitium okay but you see the layering you see that and we got the nucleus which would be the center of the cell and that's the outside layer of the cell but look at the layers look at the layers there see those layers whoa 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 get back there see that right in here and this right here these layers Now, I'm not sure what ER stands for, but it's not interstitial. See, there's interstitial and interstitium. Interstitiums, those fluid-filled spaces, you know, ball, the balls and all that, uh, which surrounds them, many organs and stuff like it's under the skin. But the interstitial is the fluid-filled spaces between cells. But I don't believe that's it. I believe that's part of the cell and the layering like that. Okay? So let's take a look at this under the microscope and also a magnification glass. First I found another 
cell showing the nucleus and the DNA in it but look at the look at the stuff on the outside around it it's like the other one too so which is the endoplastic rectulum reticulum reticulum yeah endoplasmic reticulum let's look up what that is okay so the endoplasmic reticulum a network of membranes enclosed tubules and sacs that extend from the nuclear membrane throughout the cytoplasm so it's part of the cell Yeah, it's part of the cell. So that I bet that's what it is. Holy cow. We may have found it, folks. We may have found it. And that surrounds the outside of the cell. Look at how it's got kind of layers right there. That may be what we have going on. See that? All right. So let's take a look at it under a microscope. Okay, man, I had to wet it down because it really dried out when I got home. And it is just falling apart. But that seals black specks, that's what I was talking about. And the whole, that whole deposit or wherever that is, that is loaded with it. I mean, it just totally fell apart. It really dried out and I put, put it under water to bring it back to life here. And it just fell, it just completely crumbled. I mean, it's just, I can't hardly handle it. It just wants to fall apart. So we're going to look at it under the microscope here. Look at some of these black chunks and stuff. But this is what all them balls are made out of. Now you tell me, why in tarnation would a sedimentary deposit form oops, all those balls? Why? If it's just sediment. If it's just all made of this, a bunch of granular whatever, why would it form into balls? Why? Especially with layers on it. I suggest that it's biological and that there's some kind of cell like I just showed you in the beginning of the video here so let's take a look at some of this under a microscope and see what we end up with huh look at those black specks now it's really see it's drying out already it really dries out fast but it is super crumbly I mean it just falls apart so some kind of transition went on here and um, these are these are cells of some kind I believe all right all right so I did have in one chunk you seen that when I was at the beach and it's just completely falling apart so we're going to take the old scope here and look at it we already looked under the magnification we'll see what some of these black chunks look like and stuff I'd give it a catalase test but it's been uh, ocean spray and stuff like that so it could have cross contamination in it so I'm not going to bother with that because I'm pretty sure it would react and but we have no idea what it would be react reacting to because it could have because uh, catalase is more in, in quite a few things actually in plants and things like that marine life so it could have cross contamination so let's look at it under the old micro here in a minute okay here we go so we're getting an idea of you know and it just looks like some kind of granular material There's some of that black. Black with all the reds in it. I don't know what that is. Let's try to find some more here. I mean, we don't have much to go on because we don't know really what we're... Boy, look at the reds in that. I suggest to you that it's some kind of a cell material. Okay. Now the black, that could be, you know, vein blood, and the other stuff is arterial blood.
you know, oxygenated and deoxygenated blood. That's the only thing I can think of. But the whole, all that material, the whole place, all that, what you've seen in what they would call a sedimentary deposit, it's all made out of this material. The whole thing. The whole thing. There's no big boulders or no nothing like that in it. It's all made of this material right here. Every one of those balls are made of this material. Look at another piece here. So, I mean, what? <laughs> and it's not even sand. I mean, I see some, what they would call, uh, some silicates in it. The white specks right there. But that could also be, we could also be getting some um, sodium chloride. Some salt. From the ocean. Because we're right on the ocean. Quite fascinating, really. But this is definitely not just a sedimentary deposit. You know. Look at it up in here, real flaky. There's more of that black speck. It's all lo just loaded through it. Which I'm suspecting it could be deoxygenated blood. Boy, it's just really crumbly, real flaky looking. See it in the right-hand corner? Let me just get it over here. Okay. So again, I'm going to show you what we've been looking at, and then I'm going to end this video. All right, so this is what we were just looking at. That stuff right here that's surrounding these ba all these balls. So that right there, what we were just looking at. See those layers right there? All right. That's about the end of the video. See, it's really hard right there, and I brought it home. Boy, I'll tell you what, it just crumbled as soon as I, because it really dried out. And as soon as I put water on it, it just completely started falling apart. That's what the layers are made out of. See up in there, see the layers right there? They're not as pronounced as the other one, but I think these are cells, and I just showed you in the front of the video what those those might be, those that layering. Alright, we're out of here. Have a blessed day. Bye bye now.